Hi everyone, this is Laurie. Um, I'm going to do a video for you that is inspired by Shannon Green, and I'm sure a lot of you already know who Shannon Green is, but in case you don't, I'll put a link below so that you can find her site, um, her page. She does all kinds of stuff. She makes stuff out of everything. And I saw a video that she did that she was making magazine tippins. She was uh, altering them, so this is what they start off looking like. And I've painted a few already just to get them started so that I'd save a little time. You can see, you know, I'll use this one today. And then when you're finished, mine turned out like this. She did something different with hers. She took hers and she did like a zentangle using the lines and filled it in and colored it and everything. It was really pretty. But mine, I used stencils and acrylics and rub-ons. And um, then I wrote on the back about the, the piece. And then I did this one yesterday, playing with my niece, sitting here in the art room. It was a lot of fun. Actually, that's that way. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me. This is my first video that I'm going to put to the public. If it turns out halfway decent, it's going up to the public. And I've been practicing a little bit with my friend Terry. And thank you, Terry, so much for helping me and um, letting me use you as a guinea pig. So... Um, I may have to do this in two parts because, like I said, this is my very first one going public and I'm a little bit nervous and so it's going to take me a little while to just loosen up and get used to doing this and I've got my timer set for 15 minutes and um, right now it's at 13 minutes left and I haven't even started anything. <laughs> I've just been blah blah blah. Okay, so here we're going to start with this blue one here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I like to just add some textures to my, to my page after I paint it. And I'm going to use some of these little um, stencil-y things that I've got. These came from Saw Crafters, in case you know who she is, and I'll put her link below. And forgive me, I won't know who everybody is that I got stuff from or that I um, am talking about because I, I just don't remember stuff like that. I don't keep that in my memory banks. If I, I see it, and it goes out my head usually. But I do remember these for some reason, and I would, I, you can't forget Shannon. How can you forget Shannon? Hi, Shannon. <laughs> um... And then these are just sequin waste that came from somebody on Etsy, I think, and I don't know who that was, so I'm sorry. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to take some colors here and um, just start playing a little bit. And I might fast forward through some of this so that you're not too bored with what I'm doing. But maybe not. We'll see. We'll see how it gets started. How I get started and what it looks like once I'm going, okay? All right. Usually, when I'm practicing, let me zoom in a little bit. When I'm practicing with Terry, I blab and talk about all kinds of stuff. But I don't know. There's such a wide audience out there that a lot of you are probably thinking just hush and paint. <laughs> Who knows what you're thinking? Can't please everybody, though. I know that much, and I have learned that, and that has been something I've had to overcome because. You know, when you do this, you put yourself out there and you're vulnerable. And um, that's been a little bit scary to me because I'm used to watching them, watching videos, not participating. But I really wanted to do some of this um, for, for you guys because it's fun. It's really fun. Um, there is some drying time going to be involved because I'm going to do front and back. So I'm going to try and do it quickly. And this is where I'll try to learn to fast forward so that you guys don't have to hear that. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit on the back because I am going to use the back just a little bit for like um, some journaling and stuff. And I haven't filled in the pages all the way, the page all the way. See, I already feel like I need to start this video over. I already feel like I've screwed up. It's a bomb. It's a bust. It's Hang it up. You're done. But we're going to keep going just because. Here's my book. And I put my extra paint in. It's all full of extra just stuff. And that way I can keep a moving. Except I'm cluttering up my space so much I can't see where my stuff is now. Alright. Let's go with this one. Now let's go with some circles. Circles. I'm feeling the circles. Okay, I want to go with a darker color this time. And I'm using this um, this mat that Tim Holtz mat that uh, doesn't let anything stick to it. 
so I can rub it off and wipe it off later, which I really love. A lot of times I use, and you can't see this, a lot of times I use, um, you know, a palette or something, but that takes too much time when you're doing something like this. Okay, You can't see it very well on camera, and I promise you that the lighting will get better eventually as I do these, if I stay with videos. I'm practicing, and I'm I'm seeing how I like it, I'm sticking myself out there a little bit. But um, I will, you know, try to make the lighting better as I improve and do and do more videos. And um, the camera angle might get better because I'm still learning where the camera should be. And the talking will get better because I'll get more comfortable with all of you guys. And whoever's mean and doesn't like any of the videos, you know, I'll just ignore you guys. Let you go on your merry way <laughs> and watch somebody else. Or go make your own videos and that way you can critique yourself. How about that? I feel like I should rush because when you watch videos and fast forward, you think, oh man, those people are so fast and they're doing everything so quickly. And But really what's happening is they're sitting here with the same problems I'm sitting here with, cleaning up after themselves, trying to figure out which color to use next, trying to make space for all their stuff because they've got a tripod sitting right there that's in the way. Um, and then they learn, they, they figure out how to fast forward their video so you don't see all the stuff that's going on. That's why I'm going to have to fast forward some of this, I guess, so that y'all don't see all this stuff going on. You know what I'm saying, right? All right, we're going to go, um, how about some white? I think we need a little white in there. Usually I just use my fingers for this part. I think I should do that because it comes out a little better. I tried some zentangling with my niece yesterday. She came over for a little while with my brother. And my brother walked in and I said, hello. And I said to Emma, you want to go play? <laughs> so we we came up here immediately and we spent the whole time up here while the guys stayed downstairs and talked. Her mom had a party to do, so she, she sells 31 and Origami Owl and all that stuff. So she was at a party. So we had a good old time and I did my um, zentangle for the... Well, not the very first time I played around with Zentangle, but nothing serious. And I bought her a little book for her birthday. And we sat here trying to mimic the lines and learn how to do the lines. And, and I finally looked over her and I said, are you, are you feeling the pressure and tension like I am? I said, I'm holding my breath. My shoulders are tight. And she said, yeah, I could, I could barely breathe. I'm trying to draw a straight line and I can't draw a straight line. And she's 10. She just turned 10. And I said, this is supposed to be really relaxing and fun. I said, but I'm not, I'm not relaxing here. <laughs> so we laughed about that. And that was, um, you know, a lot of fun for us because acknowledging that you're, you're just struggling with something makes it easier for you to say, okay, let's just relax and overcome this. So we started over again. And I have to say that Zentanglers out there, I give you credit because it looks a lot easier than what it is and Shannon does some amazing zentangles and I'm such an amateur at all this so but I practice I guess I'll practice and make myself better and uh, that's the only way you get better at anything is to practice right practice practice okay I wanted to use some of my washi tape and I didn't dry that very well did I I'm going to use some washi tape on one of the sides, just for the fun of it. So I brought some out. I've got a few sitting here, here. But I wanted to do that before I put the paint layers on, and I forgot because I was nervous. <laughs> You really got to overcome yourself when you start doing something like this, you know? 
because you think of all the things that people are going to say and do and, you know, they're not going to love it, they're going to hate it, you're not going to do well, and you could talk yourself right out of it, and that's what I've been doing for a couple of years, but I finally have decided I'm just going to play and enjoy myself, and y'all can play and enjoy yourselves with me, and I hope that you do, um, and especially stick if you stick with me as I get better, you'll reap the benefits from it too, because you won't have to suffer through some of this stuff <laughs> I'm having to learn. And I think it could be a really fun thing. I love to watch YouTube videos. Um, and there are certain ones that I really love to follow because the ones, my, the favorite ones, my favorite people are those that just put themselves out there and are, just seem real. And I love the professional YouTubers too. I mean, they do a wonderful job and, you know, there has to be people like that out there because they're promoting products and things like that. But for me, the more fun ones to watch are the ones where they're just people like me that are enjoying what they do, love to art, love to make things, and just want to share it with other people, the process as they do it. And I'm not teaching you anything. I'm not a teacher, and I'm not trying to... Um, at least not right now, you know, maybe one day, maybe I'll do some tutorials as I learn things, sure, but I'm not out here to say, oh, I'm, I'm so great, I'm just going to teach you everything I know. I'm not doing that. I'm just sharing what I love to do with you, having fun. And I don't love this, but we're going to keep going because I might turn out to love it. And I think I'll put a little bit on the back just for fun. Try this. You spend a lot of time picking tape, <laughs> trying to find where it starts and stops, cleaning up paint off your nails, which I don't really care about. Put that right there. This is a bicycling tip in. My husband has been a bicycler, um, bicycle rider before I even met him, and we he just recently picked it back up again, and I did too, so I'm basically learning that too and and learning it because I'm riding a bike that I'm not used to you know with the kind of um, pedals the clip-ins and things like that holy cow there's a lot more to bike riding than you think all right we're down to about two minutes so this is going to be definitely a two or three parter and that's because I'm not going to verify my account yet to make longer videos until I know how how it all works and because I really don't want to I don't know if I'm going to fast forward all this so I don't want to keep going in case I decide to do this in parts and I hope I was on camera enough for you to see that I'm still working that out too um if you bear with me I'll figure it all out as time goes on give me a year maybe if you're still here in a year and I haven't improved send me a note and I'll think about I don't know hanging it up <laughs> Not really. I think I'll just keep doing it and playing because I'm having a good time, but I should improve after a year, shouldn't I? I mean, really. All right, we're going to stop at a minute because I want to make sure that I don't run over time, and we'll come back in a second, okay? See ya.